Judith, while you're, uh, you're going to uh, also present us with a, a user perspective, can you uh, explain briefly what your research is about? Uh, for the listeners uh, today, Meredith Wynn is a postdoctoral researcher at Science Po, uh, working at, on the ANR-funded Fair Ethic Med Quant project in close cooperation with the Ethic, Ethic Med survey data. Uh, and your research uh, focuses on migration, far-right politics, and their intersections. Uh, Meredith, the floor is yours. Great, thanks. Um, and I don't have any slides, so hopefully also we'll be able to leave some time. I'll go through quickly so that we'll have um, plenty of time for the discussion. But um, what I'm going to be talking about today is actually, like Dimitri, it's an extension of this EMM survey registry, um, and it's the EMM question data bank. Um, and so this is sort of the, the logical next step after creating the registry is creating a question data bank. So as Ami showed, we have such a large number of surveys being represented on the, on the registry. Um, and in order to really be able to um, exploit the data of those surveys um, as much as possible, uh, we're, we're working on creating this tool, the question data bank. Um, what it will do is it will document questionnaire level metadata, um, including conceptual information about the question items themselves in DDI lifecycle. And this will be displayed in a public site similar to the registry. This tool is actually being designed to be included as part of part of SESTA's European Question Bank. So it's also related to another tool by, by SESTA. Um, which is great. And the reason that, that, that this is necessary is that, as I've said, there's so many surveys that we've identified as part of this initial um, census and that have been developed independently, um, but they cover similar substantive topics. Um, and so by systemically documenting these questionnaires um, and their conceptual information, we allow to researchers to um, leverage this existing data to answer novel questions, um, as well as increase the rigor with which we examine existing theories. But it also has a functionality for um, pre-harmonization. So, of course, this, this conceptual information facilitates data post-harmonization, but also as researchers may be developing new survey instruments, it can facilitate pre-harmonization by allowing researchers to easily see how questions have already been posed in a way that they can design their question items to be harmonized to these existing question items. Um, which is important for um, future reuse of um, question items. So where are we with the development? We're currently in the pilot mode. Um, so our pilot covers nine countries and it covers dimensions of civic and political integration. And we've defined already this conceptual hierarchy with um, through work group three of the cost action. Um, and we've identified all the relevant questionnaires that fit within the pilot. So now we're in the process of documenting the questionnaires using Collectica software, which is the same software being used by um, SESTA for the EQB. Um, and then eventually these metadata will be published publicly. Um, and as I'm sure you can imagine, documenting questionnaires um, is quite a laborious process. We haven't found an effective way to, um, to automate it simply because the work really requires human judgment calls to be made to be sure that the conceptual information is represented correctly, as well as to be sure that um, questionnaires, which are often in PDF form, um, are being populated correctly into the existing fields within the software. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Meredith. I think it's really interesting to understand uh, the user stories uh, behind uh, all these data sets that are available uh, for reuse uh, or will shortly be.